I think I hear a loon. Did you hear that? I heard that. Okay. You, n you never know what you're going to hear or see up here. We've seen eagles. I can hear the loons in the distance. The fishing's been great. In fact, there's all kinds of fishing up here, as I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, and one of those is salmon and steelhead that are up here on the lower reaches of the river. And I had the opportunity to go out with a guide and spend some time on the river and actually catch a steelhead. All the steelhead begin to come into the ensemble after the run of spawning salmon. They become more aggressive as they are determined to gorge on salmon eggs, so it's the perfect time of year to fish for them. Though steelhead can be found in the ensemble every month of the year, the fall run accelerates through October and November. The ensemble river flows for more than 100 miles before meeting Lake Huron. For many, it is just a short drive for fantastic steelhead fishing. With guides like Captain Gene Curvan of Calypso Charters, anglers can have an easy, comfortable drift boat trip with plenty of action for that trophy fish. We have come out to do a little bit of steelhead fishing. Nice, beautiful fall day that's out here. The sun's coming up, may or may not be good from what Gene's telling us. We're in a drift boat, kind of an interesting boat. We're gonna show you a little bit uh, more about it, what it looks like, and, and we'll ask Gene why they designed this type of boat for this type of fishing. We're going down the river. Uh, we put in what, up at the foot dam? Yes. And we're gonna work our way down towards the mouth, and hopefully along the way, we're gonna catch some fish. So we're looking forward to the trip down. Well, Gene, you got us out here on the river. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to do here? Uh, well, today we're going to be floating. We launched right uh, just below Foot Dam. We're going to fish it all the way down to the river mouth, which we're going to cover about 17 miles of water today. And the fishing technique we're using, it's called hot shotting. And we're going to hot shot the deep runs and we're targeting steelhead. Uh, so these body baits will end up sticking them out about 50, 60 feet in front of the boat. We're fishing uh, the gravel runs because this is where the fish will be laying uh, this time of year. We appreciate how Captain Curvan, as the oarsman, can make quick turns and maneuver the ensemble. Though not unsinkable, we know we are in good hands and are comfortably dry in the flat bottom boat. The boat is easily identified because of the way it is built with its bottom flat from side to side and no keel. The wide bottom area means that the boat draws very little water making it the perfect boat for Osable River steelhead fishing. But well, Gene, you've been, you've been at this a lot of years now, mm -hmm. and uh, you're rowing this boat up and down the river. Mm -hmm. Must stay in pretty good shape doing it. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a tremendous workout each day. I had a doctor one time told me that I, I burned about 6,000 calories in a day of rowing. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's quite a bit. It's like uh, by the end of the day, once I get the fish clean and everything, about an hour later, I've got to have quite the feed to make up for uh, rowing all day. With typically cloudy, mild weather in the fall, weather conditions during the fall are ideal for catching some of the best fish of the year. We really like to take some back and cook them up. They're oh, so sweet. And we're going to have to like fresh fish. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, we're going to have fish for tonight. I can promise you that. All right. <laughs> Pump and reel, Tom. Raise it up. Keep them in the water. Keep them in the water. Get them to me. There we go. Pull. There you go. Okay. Yeah, bring that in the clean. You know what? You know, it's almost like you. Bang. See, when you brought it in, that plug just dialed yep. down a little more yep. aggressive. And there you go. All right. Got a good start. <laughs> that's a gorgeous steelhead. How big do you think it is? Oh, uh, that's about six, seven pounds. Okay. And nice bright color, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, good stuff. Now, what happens to uh, guys out here on the river? gets a couple of fish, maybe wants to have one for dinner. Do you do something like that? We do. Uh, I'm one of the three captains on Lake Huron that are uh, participate with the Catch and Cook program with Michigan State University. And uh, that program, basically, if you go out on a charter with me, you catch the fish, uh, I process it, take it to the restaurant. Uh, I'll prepare it three different ways for you. So uh, for a lot of people, 
uh, it really adds to the entire experience. Because most people, surprisingly, when they go out on a fishing trip, uh, once they get the fish, they're not sure what to do with it afterwards. So uh, this is something that uh, it, it's for another amenity to offer people. Uh, it's been tremendous.